Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we are going to be putting on this eyeshadow with this new palette from Sigma and Diana Saldana. She is a creator here on YouTube and this is her palette. I'm going to show you swatches. We're going to do this minimal eye and I'm going to briefly talk to you about this Strivectin stuff I've got. In particular, this sunscreen that I'm wearing underneath my makeup. I think looks pretty darn good and didn't pill. So yeah, the Strivectin vitamin C stuff that was sent to me by Octoly and Strivectin like three months ago. No, it just showed up. Anyway, we're gonna talk about that because I am super impressed with this super vitamin C. It actually is called that. Super C SPF 30 vitamin C moisturizer. Good stuff. So we're going to be talking briefly about that stuff. We're going to be putting on this eye and I'm going to show you a leaked <laughs> refer brush. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be talking to you about the new set, but I'm going to show you one of them. And yeah, if you're up for that, let's go. The Diana Saldana uh, palette with Sigma. It's got a mirror in here. No brush. I've been in it. You can see that. You even can probably see this used to be a sad face that I poked on it. Because <laughs> that's the only shade in here I don't like. Um, and you can probably guess why at the risk of getting more glitter everywhere. This shade here, you can see glitter all through it. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? It's even fallen off there. So this shade here is the only one I don't like. The rest of them are just fine. Beautiful. One of my favorites in here is this one. It's smooth. Let me show you the swatches really quick. You know I'm going to do it anyway, but because it's Sigma, yeah, we're going to use the Glitzy Fritzy Essential Eye Set. I'll just show you really quick what I've been doing with this, because I've been trying these techniques that I wanted to show you guys, and I can't never get the time to do that. <laughs> I'm just taking Inspired and coming all over my lid from the crease up. And I think it's perfect for this. I'm also going to bring that right here in the inner corner there to brighten that up. Gosh, I love Sigma's formula. It's so buttery and smooth. You guys know I got rid of all my ABH palettes, save three, I think. I think I've got Soft Glam, the Jackie Ina, and um, the Sultry left. Um, I gave them all away because I think that Sigma has a better formula. Now I'm just going to dip in very, very slight. See, I just barely hit that in coffee. And I'm relaxing my eye. I'm going to just bring that in the crease. And for people who really like a minimal, fast, quick eye, this probably is going to make you very happy. Uh, but for people who <laughs> really want to see me get out there with colors, probably not because I am under pressure here to get out the door and before my sunscreen wears off. I don't want to reapply it. <laughs> so, so I want to get out the door and do that. Which, by the way, this is doing really nicely under my makeup. It surprises me because normally I don't like that. But like this Strivectin sent me some stuff. They sent me this. This is a sunscreen with vitamin C in it. It smells really good but I've not had any problems. There's a lot of sunscreens that I won't wear under my makeup because it pills a lot, but these products are doing really good. This is their vitamin C 
And I really like that. Here, let's just turn this into a commercial for Strivectin, want to? This stuff was sent to me by Octoly and Strivectin. And oh my gosh, it was so late getting here. But anyway, so yeah, that's the vitamin C. And then they got this serum for under your eyes. It's all vitamin C based, right? Well, this here I was thinking, but I've got it underneath my makeup. There was no pilling whatsoever. Plays nice with stuff. So I, I really like that. I'm surprised. I thought that I would have to redo my makeup. I'm not really sure why I let the Strivectin thing. It's a sunscreen. I don't want to reapply it. That's where I was. Um, even though that might be interesting to see how it did over the top of my makeup. I will likely probably end up doing that. I'll take it with me. But it's really moisturizing. Super moisturizing. If you really want a moisturizing sunscreen, <laughs> there you go. I mean, it would have already pilled. Trust me. It's been a, enough time now that it would have already gave me a problem. Now, if I get it close to my eyes, like almost all sunscreens do, it irritated my eyes. So maybe don't do that. <laughs> but. You guys know what the next step is, right? Yes, you do. You know I always take the E35 then and come in after my E25 and just kind of blow it out a little bit more because it's clean. And that's what I like to do. This is my E55. It's a shader. And I want to show you, there's a white in here. Now, I love white eyeshadows so much that one time I even did... <laughs> People would be like, really? You did a video about white eyeshadow? <laughs> I like white eyeshadow. And I'll show you why. This just brightens it up. And I'll tell you what. The technique that I'm wanting to show you. See how much that brightened it up? The technique I'm wanting to show you, if I ever get time, is um, Marilyn Monroe's beauty makeup things. You know, I kind of... Maybe if I tell you this, it'll force my hand to do it. <laughs> I want to show you... I know I don't look like Marilyn Monroe, but I want to show you what her and Whitey, <laughs> that was her makeup artist, <laughs> okay, um, their techniques that they used to do for her. I kind of want to show you what those techniques look like. Well, you actually see me do some of them, but, you know, what those techniques look like on a 60-year-old, you know, and we could speculate whether or not Marilyn would have changed her Rather not Whitey, I guess. Well, Marilyn was putting on her own makeup at home, but you know, rather not they would have changed what they would have changed had she lived out of her 30s. You can see what a dramatic difference white makes. Contrasting, of course, black pushes things back. White brings things forward. So if you've got some darkness in here, make friends with a white eyeshadow. I really like BU. That's really good. And what I really like over the top of it is dreams. I'm going to do what I've been doing. So that's basically taking the white shade and bringing it across my lid like so. And then I will take that dreams and bring it over the top of this. And I think it just looks beautiful. Now I'm going to take my E36 and come back into coffee. And I'm just going to relax my eyes because this eye, as you know, falls down there. I'm also going to raise my eye, you know, because I am one of these people who walks around like this all the time. <laughs> so it needs to look okay both ways, relaxed and with my eyes up. So this eye, not so much, don't have as much problems with it. And of course, I have to do that to make them kind of look even or try to anyway. Um, I know that they could be worse. And oh my gosh, this is like fresh on my brain. Did you guys see Kathy Beauty Care Chats? My friend Kathy, um, she's gorgeous, but she just went and got, um, I can't say that word. You know, she got her eyelids done and under the eyes, which I didn't even know you could do. Okay, I didn't even know that was something that they did. And she had that done. She looks like her freaking eyes look like she's 20 again. And I'm like, oh, so jealous while I was watching that. I'm not going to say I would never do that, but I don't think I would because I'm even more of a Frady cat than she is. 
And two, Shy Guy would never go for something like that because, you know, and I, I don't blame him. I'm scared they'd mess it up and I would end up looking like a joker. Okay, hers turned out really good, though. Uh, but I would be too scared that they'd mess something like that up. And besides that, you know, Shy Guy's like, come age with me. <laughs> I'll take my E21 and come into this black. Now, when you're messing with black shadow, you might want to test it first and see. Is that darker than you want? Is that going to be okay? And then I'm just going to put that in my lash line right here on the outside. I've been trying not to show these, but I am going to pop this. Look, this is a new brush by Ruffer. I just want to give it a try. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's not nice to show that to you because as of me filming this, these are not for sale yet. You can't buy these yet. But I will for sure be letting you know on the community page when the new five-piece set from Refer is out. They got five new brushes. This is one of them. And I'll be letting you know about that. Check it out. I love it. That was really nice of me to do on camera, wasn't it? Okay, let's put that back. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get this shade. I'm going to pack it on here on top of that white. And it's just like a little glass coating of sparkle that looks so elegant, I think. I think it looks really elegant when you have a shade like this that's just, I guess maybe it's bordering on a topper. Just a glisten, see? Just a little something, something that makes you go, what is going on? You got the brightest eyes. All right, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of it on my pinky and just pop it right there in the middle. I love this. Now I'm gonna take this, and I think it's got a residual amount of the black on it, and just right there. Just a little bit. I just want to smoke out that corner. Well, okay. I like to take my brush and like do that in a shadow, you know, or make a sad face in it. <laughs> I just do that because that way, when I pick this palette up in three months again, <laughs> I won't be like going, ooh, it's so pretty, I'm gonna know. That you tried that, it didn't work out, okay? So, but everything else in there, I really love. Okay, I'm gonna get on my mascara, I'll be right back. All right then, I hope you enjoyed that. I gotta get going, guys. I don't wanna have to reapply my sunscreen, even though I think it probably might do all right. I'm gonna put it in my purse so that when my two hour alarm goes off, I can just put some more on. And then I'll get back to you here. What happened? Did it totally destroy my look? It did not. And not only didn't it, I thought it looked pretty darn good over the top of it. And I did take powder and kind of pat it down where it was too shiny. I will say this though, if you rub your eyes and you get this stuff in it, of course, it stings. I hope you guys know you're the best part of the Fritzy family and that if you're not having a blessed day, the way you get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Look at this. Oh, oh no, oh no, I dropped it, I dropped it. It was free. Fallen. You're a smooth criminal. Yeah, Glizzy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Glizzy? Glizzy, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Glizzy? You've been hit by a smooth criminal. Feeling a lot of pressure. I'm under pressure because... Under pressure! My sunscreen's wearing out on me. Tutorial of my eyes. She's got Glitzy Fritzy eyes. What did I say it was called? Dreams? Dreams. Dreams, dreams, dreams when I use you on my lids when I use you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm in the middle with you.
do, 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 do. Did you ever wonder, I don't know why this popped in my head, but how did we get by with a song that went, Mama's got a squeeze box she wears on her chest, and when Daddy gets home, he never gets no rest, cause they're playing all night. And the music's all right. Yeah, mama's got a squeeze box. Daddy never sleeps at night. How did we get by with that in the 70s? I'll wear my sunglasses. Dirty. Are you misbehaving, Peta? Of course you are. Focus on these fabulous glasses. Come on, you can do it. I have faith in you. What is wrong with you? Really?